Miguel, a TFK kid reporter. And my question for you, Anne, is I'm really interested in astronauts and space. So what advice do you have for kids like me? And what role do you think young people should play for the future of space exploration? Well, that's a great question, Miguel, because uh, when I was your age and actually even earlier, uh, I was about three years old when I looked up to the stars and I decided that I wanted to be an astronaut. And that's when I first told my parents. So just the fact that you're enthusiastic about it, that is actually the first start because all of the future astronauts are doing exactly what you're doing every day. They're getting up, they're going to school, they're learning what they can, they're taking lots of different subjects. Uh, and so what you're doing right now is actually exactly what you should be doing to come and be part of uh, space flight. Now, for anybody that wants to come and be an astronaut or to do any of the many, many, many different jobs that we have at NASA, um, the biggest thing is to, to figure out what you're passionate about and what you love doing and do that. Because if you're passionate about something, you're gonna be better at it because all of what we do, it takes so much more work than I ever anticipated. When I looked up and thought, I wanna be an astronaut, I, I didn't even see half of the work that it was gonna to take to get here evenings and weekends and not going out with my friends when I wanted to and canceling trips and just focusing on my work. That's what it takes, but that's worth it if what you're doing is something that you love and that you're passionate about and that brings you joy. Because um, the other part is that, you know, there's so many different jobs at NASA, like I said, not just within the astronaut corps, you know, within the astronaut office, we have, we have doctors, we have scientists, we have geologists, we have pilots, we have people that are not pilots, we have scuba divers, we have submariners, we have all sorts of different uh, ways that you can become an astronaut. However, we also have a ton of people that work at NASA and they get to uh, work with space exploration every single day and they're not engineers and scientists. We have educators that go out and they tell the story. We have media and public relations people that tell the story and do the interviews and make the videos. And these guys are the same people that they also get on helicopters and they fly over to Kazakhstan and down to Florida and they see launches and landings, but they tell the story. And so whatever your passion is, you can be part of this if you'd like to. Um, so, but my biggest thing is to not give up. Do not give up. I run into a lot of adults that say, you know, I wanted to be an astronaut, but, but they say, but, but I stopped, but I decided not to, but I decided not to major in engineering, but I decided it was gonna be too hard, but I decided to go do something else. And what I realized was most adults stopped pursuing it themselves. Nobody came and said, hey, you're not good enough. Most people gave up themselves. And so what I want you to think about is keep making the decisions that move you onto that path because somebody sitting in your classroom today is going to be an astronaut or a classroom just like yours is going to be an astronaut. There's the same with the president and the doctors and the lawyers and the professional sports players. They're all sitting in school right now. So it's those people that stay focused on their mission and keep making those decisions about th doing things that they're passionate about that are the ones that end up uh, where I am and where other successful people are. So good luck and don't give up.